Hey guys, it's Yoda Joe93. We just got done talking about the possibility of Darth Vader being in Bad Batch. And I thought it was a really good, uh, good theory. Really good possibility I think that could happen. But another thing I want to talk about now is one of my favorite parts of Mandalorian Season 3. Well, it's not a great season. I love the character of Tyrion Beck, a.k.a. Jar, Jar's, Jar Jar Binks' act, actor. So I'm at best trained in martial arts for so many years, about 60 years. more and he he's a black belt in brazilian jiu-jitsu he took all the jar, jar hate that you guys gave him and chose to go a different path and i think he's super cool um we only got to see a glimpse of him as this jedi that he played but i really want to see more from him i really think he has the potential to give us more and i'm really excited because he the way he's swinging the sabers around he he views himself as a teacher so someone who came from learning the martial arts, doing the things that he was doing, um, really, really stands out to me. I love that he wants, he loves being a teacher. I love that he learns so many different martial arts, perfects his saber style. There's a lightsaber stuff fighting form called Jar, called Jarkai, and Jarkai was used by Ahsoka, it was used by Anakin, it was used by, by Ventress. It's very famous for anyone who uses two lightsabers at the same time. And he was so good at it at Jarkai that he could do wield two lightsabers at the same time just like we saw in Mandalorian season three and you know while he's the Jedi that saved Grogu I know a lot of people weren't a big fan of him saving Grogu because they wanted something else someone else, else spectacular to save Grogu but I thought this was great like can I just say that I thought the idea of him saving Grogu was fantastic and I cannot get over how amazing the idea was the storytelling for it Everything lived up to exactly what I think it should have lived up to. Like, it was it was fantastic to see him and Bittersweet to save Grogu, to see him, this guy who had been bullied for his life become a Jedi and was literally, um, basically, you know, he was pulled from the Jedi um, Academy um, Jedi Challenge thing at Disney that they did. And they brought him immediately into the lore of Star Wars. And I thought that was so cool. It really delivers. It was really something cool. There's more to tell with this story, with this character. There's more story. I love that he's developed martial arts. I love that he's a fighter. I love that he. they call him Saberhand because he's so skilled with lightsabers. I'd love to see more from this character. I really would. I really think that he has an, he has a, an interest in him. Like, Misa want to see more Jar Jar. Misa want to see more, more Greg. You want more back? Like, he, he's so cool. Misa like. Misa like Jedi. Misa bombad Jedi. Like, it, like honestly, like, I, I, I like Jar Jar. I don't care what anyone else says. I think Jar Jar's hilarious. And I love, I love this. I think this is great. I, I love the idea. I, I see he's teasing that he wants to come, that he could be cameoing in Bad Batch Season 3, which would be cool. The more Jedi we see that survive, the better stuff would be really cool. So I'm really hoping that we do get to see more of him. I really am. I think that there's a lot, there's a story for him, and if, if there's other people that show up, like if Vader's in Bad Batch, if Ventress is in Bad Batch, if Clemens in Bad Batch, I wonder what, what Killerin, Killerin Beck's role would be. I'm very curious. Share your thoughts, guys. What do you guys think his role would be? Are you guys excited to see this Jedi return in Bad Batch potentially? Share your thoughts and let me know. And may the Force be with you. Have a great day. Woo!